What about the uh, black striping on the dunes behind us? Okay, uh, uh, there, there's a variety of different um, minerals uh, that make up the sand grains. And most of the minerals are what we call silicates. So uh, they're made up of elements bonded to silicon and oxygen. And that's like a typical rock. Uh, but we do have some minerals, which are oxides, which are iron bonded to oxygen, and they're slightly more dense than the silicates. So it's a little bit tougher to move that sand. So whenever we have moderate winds, like winds from about 13 to 20 miles an hour, that'll move the silicate sand, but not move the oxide sand. And that leads to the oxides being concentrated on ridges. And the most common oxide sand we have out here is called magnetite and you can pick it up with a magnet. I can tell by the excitement in your voice and talking with you off camera that you absolutely love this place. And in the beginning of the podcast, you had mentioned that you loved it so much that you haven't left. What about this place do you love? Well, it changes, you know, all the time. Like uh, most geologists who study the Earth, uh, they're looking at something that formed millions of years ago or even billions of years ago. But this is a very active system geologically, and it's forming in real time. So uh, the, the things I measure this year are different than what I measured last year, and they'll be different in the future. So it's more like studying a biological system because it changes on a human scale. So I think it's very interesting to to measure uh you know active geologic processes and every year like i've got data loggers out there measuring everything and it's really fun to get all that data just to see how things have changed over the course of time so uh, it's a very fun job they're always changing and uh every morning i drive in and i look at the dunes and i haven't gotten tired of looking them yet it's such a it's a nice place to rest your eyes